Here are some notes on lactational mastitis. This is a problem when your skin flora bacteria, most commonly Staph aureus, enter the milk ducts through the nipple, and the bacteria then multiplies in stagnant milk. Here's a picture of it uh, from like the 1800s, I think, an old photo. There are a few risk factors for lactational mastitis. If you've had a history of it, you're predisposed to having it again. And if you have any kind of engorgement or inadequate milk drainage due to a number of factors, you're also predisposed to having mastitis. You might have engorgement or inadequate drainage due to increase in sleep suddenly. You might be replacing your nursing with formula or pumped breast milk, which would result in less milk drainage. Weaning, pressure on the ducts, such as from tight clothes, a tight bra, or sleeping prone can also cause engorgement. Cracked or clogged nipple pores, poor latch can also cause engorgement and inadequate milk drainage. The patient will present with fever in some cases. They'll often have a firm, red, tender, and swollen quadrant of one side of one breast, as shown in this picture here. The patient can also have myalgias in severe cases with chills and malaise. To treat this, you usually want to just manage pain and you want to encourage frequent pumping or breastfeeding. So do not stop breastfeeding because you have lactational mastitis. You can also give antibiotics and keep breastfeeding to clear the infection.